Hello, I'm going to give you some information on when looking for new construction and why you need a realtor. In this video, I'm going to give you six tips and reasons so you can understand why. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Luciana Rivera, a local realtor here in Tampa. And for more information like this, subscribe, ring the bell, give me a like, and if you have some comments, drop them below. So buy a new construction and resell for houses are very different. So here are some tips on how to make that new construction purchase a successful one. Number one, use a realtor. Yes, us realtors represent new construction all the time. You buyers go to model homes, you meet with the sales rep, and yes, they can answer all the questions that you have, but understand that that sales rep represent the builder and not you. You should want a representative working for you as well, especially if they're familiar with the new construction process. Their advice can be very valuable for you. If you happen to go to a model home and register, you know that little piece of paper they have you fill out? Well, make sure you put your realtor information. If not, later on they can't help you if you have any questions. So just go ahead and where it says Realtor, go ahead and put your Realtor of preference there. I've had people come to me after the fact with problems and, and then I couldn't help them because they didn't put my name. I hear a lot of people say, oh, but I got money for closing costs. Well, do realize that all builders give you an incentive, but that I will mention later. Number two, understand the different costs for new construction purchase. Now you may see those signs out on the road where it says house starting, home starting at 250 and then when you go and you look at the model home, you see that it's actually 300,000 or more. Why does that happen? That's because the advertised price is the lowest price base model with no upgrades and no lot premium. So first you have the base price of the house. That's the cost of the floor plan you choose with no upgrades. Next, you have the costs that might have like a lot premium and it depends if you're choosing a lot that's facing a certain direction. For example, the home is facing the back of the green area or it's probably a uh, waterfront. Things like that are probably going to have a lot premium. The better the lot is, the higher the premium is. If the lot does not, that you pick doesn't have a premium, it's probably because it isn't as desirable. But it could be a perfect one for you, so don't worry about that. Each home will come with different base price. Each builder is different. Some include a lot of great features. These are options that many builders charge extra for, while other builders come with very basic with almost no included um, features. So your next step is to figure out what's included. Usually a builder can give you an included feature sheet. Read through that list. If the builder includes a lot of great features, you may not have to add much in upgrades. If the builder doesn't include that much, you may end up spending a little bit more. Now, a little warning here. Some of you might know this, but most builders load up their model homes with upgrades. So be sure to ask the salesperson person, um, what's included and what's upgraded. If there are major upgrades that you would like pricing, make sure to ask for all of that. Ask the sales agent, how much will it cost to add these items? This is usually large structure items like a three car garage, a master bedroom, a uh, nine foot ceiling, um, fireplace, and etc. So upgrades are divided in two different categories. And this is where you have to decide which one is most important to you. Number one is the structural selection, and then the second one is where people tend to kind of fall to, which is the interior design selection. 
A builder may offer a bonus room option to extend the master bedroom or turning a living room into a den. These would be example of structure option. These are not to be confused with cosmetic options, which are picking out the colors of the cabinet, color of the granite, stuff like that. Now, every builder has different structure options, and these costs can really add up. Just understand that when you're preparing a budget, it's a lot harder and more expensive to make structure addition after the home has been completed. So your money is better spent in structure item now instead of interior design selection. I hope that makes sense. I'll try to clear it up a little bit for you. So for instance, you can't add a nine, feet, a nine foot ceiling once the home has been built, but you can pretty easily change that flooring or that cabinet, the countertop, the fixture in the bathrooms down the road. I hope that makes a little bit more sense. And all of these costs together will determine the final price of your home. Number three is negotiating with the builder. Builders don't like to negotiate their base price they have to keep these prices similar because they're selling a whole bunch of the same model. As long as people are buying their homes, they have no reason to negotiate price. However, builders are more receptive to negotiate things on credit. So instead of asking $10,000 off the house reduction, um, and the house, so you you can ask for ten thousand dollars towards credit into the um, design center towards closing costs. Not every builder is going to give you credit. They might not want to negotiate it at all. It it completely depends on how popular that product it is, but doesn't have to ask. Now, if you happen to be interested in an inventory home which is a home that's already built by the builder, then that might give you a better chance to negotiate price because that house is almost ready, if not already ready. Um, and the builder doesn't want to have to pay the holding cost of the house. Again, they might not be willing to go down, may, but you may have a better luck negotiating with the builder on the inventory home. So number four. Closing costs on a new construction home. Every builder is different, but make sure, no matter which builder you're, you're using, make sure to pay attention on their closing costs. Uh, but before you get discouraged about that, a lot of builders often incentive, like I said earlier. However, make sure you do your due diligence and talk to other lenders and an outside lender may be able to rebate you the amount similar to what the builder is offering uh, but if not you know at least check the interest rate it might be better for you on that way it never hurts to ask so do your homework when it comes to lender again again here's another reason why you need to use a realtor to represent you number five inspection yes you can do home inspection on new construction home if you're building a house from scratch, I recommend two different inspections. The first inspection is your pre-drywall inspection. This is when an inspector comes in and looks at everything on the outside of your house. You, you don't get to see that stuff once the drywall, the drywall is put on. So that's the most important um, inspection during the building process. I also recommend an inspection just before closing to check to make sure everything's functional. That's really um, like the regular inspection that you do when, on the resale home. But that is an option. A lot of people don't do the prior inspection for closing because the builder will offer a wonderful warranty that will cover anything that happens after you move and that's a great feature in the home instruction but it's easier to fix it before it's um 
before everything is done with because you can you can get that out the way and who knows how long it's going to take for them to come and fix whatever you know um, whatever you need to fix you know like every builder is different and number six is construction time expectation say your builder says it will take four months to build your house okay maybe it'll take a little bit longer but let's pretend that well, that's your goal but in reality they never exactly know how long it's going to take for it to finish the building the builders have to deal with so many things they have to deal with the weather issue they have to deal with materials being supplied on time they have to deal with the construction constructor uh, constructors doing their job going through inspection permit and so much more it's a lot to manage for them and it doesn't always go smoothly trust me no builder wants to take any longer to close on a house than it absolutely needs to remember they don't make money until they close on the house they want to close as much as you do there are just some things that are out of their control so, so what that means if you're selling your current house or you have a lease that's going to expire close to the time that your house is supposed to be closed make sure you look into a backup plan just in case there's a delay for example if you're rent, if you're renting make sure to talk to a landlord and possibly going month to month if you need to you're selling your house see if the buyer will uh, be willing to extend the closing or lease the house back to you and if neither of these things are an option then check into a corporate housing and put all of your stuff in a storage I know it's a giant pain to do this but closing the late and new construction happens so frequently that you need to have a backup plan so if you absolutely can't have a delay and you move in date then think about looking into an inventory home that way it's a lot easier to pinpoint the date on the house that's almost done or or that's already done that's it. I hope this information helped you and clarify some of the things for those of you that are looking to buy a new construction home. If you're looking to buy a new construction home in the Tampa Bay area and you don't have a realtor representing you, at, you yet, give me a call. I would love to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and click that like button and consider subscribing to this channel, Rivera Florida Homes. Share this video with families that might and friends that might need this information. See you guys next time.